the British Grand Prix at Silverstone. It's almost my home from home. It's the circuit I visit second most of all of the tracks in the world. And that means it's the same for the teams as well, because we're all local and it means this is where a lot of teams bring a lot of updates to the track. But we've also had a lot of updates introduced in Austria. So I thought we'd take a little bit of time to catch up on what's going on. The big update here at Alpine is actually that one of these two cars, Esteban Ocon's car, is brand new. It's a new monocoque. The French driver has been struggling for performance with his car, so the team introduced a new chassis. Why does that make a difference? Well, these chassis are hand-built. The monocoque is sandwich of carbon fibre and aramid and other synthetic fibres. Some areas aluminium as well as they fire up the car behind us. That means some of them are a little bit different. Some chassis are heavier, some lighter, some maybe flex a little bit. So drivers just have a different feel for a different chassis. That's what they've changed for Esteban Ocon. And they brought it here to their local track at Silverstone. French team, but the cars are built just up the road in Enstone in England. So that should bring some performance for the French driver. If it doesn't, the team are really gonna have to find something else to make Ocon comfortable in that A521 car. Mercedes have been the big talk of the season. Poor performance, relative for them at least, has been a big talking topic. And why have they dropped off? Well, they've been trying a few new parts on the car. You can see a few of them here. New floor, just as they push it into the pit box there. These new parts are hoped to bring a bit of performance for Valtteri Bottas and Lewis Hamilton. The team are hoping that these parts will change the aerodynamic performance, particularly around the rear of the car. And these changes are particularly on the edge of the floor. So you'll see they've introduced a much flatter section of the forward part of the floor. And this section here, this flat section here, this is what people used to call the Vianetta floor. But actually you can see they've introduced these new array of sticky uppy bits on there and this much flatter floor. Also changed the bargeboard section just around here, these Venetian blinds. These have been revised slightly as well. And I think there's probably a few more changes I haven't quite spotted yet. The team won't tell us, but they'll give us a little bit of a, a steer later on perhaps. But this just shows how much effort Mercedes are trying to reclaim the advantage in this World Championship campaign. <laughs> will it work? I don't know. These are pretty fundamental changes to the car and they will have knock-on effects later on. But let's go down and have a look at their championship rivals. Mercedes are locked in a super tight championship battle with this team, Red Bull Racing, and they too have introduced a huge swathe of new parts onto their car. A lot of these parts were, of course, introduced in Austria last time out. And you can see there, though, some new parts for Silverstone on the edge of the floor. Once again, revisions to the forward section, just ahead of that step section of the floor. You can see those silver metal parts. Those are brand new. Then look to the rear edge of the floor there. You can see these new longitudinal strakes with those silver sections front and rear. That's brand new for Silverstone as well. Then on Max Verstappen's car, this is Max Verstappen's car we're looking at, you can see the barge wheel section, the Venetian blinds. They revised this lower section down here for the Austrian Grand Prix. I'm expecting a few more developments coming in this area on the car as well. Red Bull also introduced in the Austrian Grand Prix a new front wing on Verstappen's car. I'm not sure it's on the car at the moment. No, it's not. This is the older specification wing. The, the, the earlier specification wing had actually a bigger sort of uprise section on the in face. And then here on the upper elements of the wing, these were slightly revised for Verstappen in Austria as well. Still a lot of development on these cars. Mercedes were teasing the team slightly after the last race, saying they were bringing three truckloads of new parts to Austria to stick on that car. So I think there's still a lot more to come from Red Bull. But the team with the single biggest amount of upgrades from the previous race are sort of the hometown team. Their factory's just over the road at Silverstone. It's almost in sight of the pit lane here. It's Aston Martin Racing. And the Aston Martin had so many updates on it, I had to write it down on my pad. So, all in Austria, these parts came along. There was a new barge board. We'll have a look at that in a minute. New front floor, new rear floor, new front wing, new mirror supports. I think there were changes on the diffuser. They've done just about everything they can do on this green car to get some great performance. And here you can see some of the changes on the rear floor. So if you look here, you can see that section just ahead of the rear tyre. You see how close the rear tyre sits to the edge of the floor as well. Crucial area of aerodynamics. Trying to channel that flow inside the interface of the rear wheel, blocking out that vortex, the so-called tyre squirt, getting into the diffuser. 
that robs you of downforce and it's really difficult to get right. But this bridge section over that array of sort of sticky uppy bits, that's brand new. They introduced that in Austria as well. A few new sections around the front of the floor as well. New sticky uppy bits. A lot of change around here. These two turning vanes here, just on the top of the pod wing, those introduced in Austria as well. Nice little slot there I hadn't noticed in the photos actually. Nice little detail on the car. Team's still doing a lot of work around that. These are the new sticky uppy bits on the Halo. That was introduced a few races ago. We saw that in Baku. Then around the front of the car, a new front wing was also introduced last time out. And the upper element of the wing, just on the outboard there, that was the new section on that wing. Trying to say out the team's way as they're trying to do their pit stop practice here, but very nice of them to bring out Sebastian Vettel's car for us to take a look at. Another home team at the British Grand Prix is, of course, McLaren, based a little bit further away than the other British-based teams from Silverstone. They're down in Surrey in Woking. McLaren introduced a big, up, big upgrade to their floor at the last Grand Prix. You can just see it on the edge of the car here. You can just see those sticky uppy bits behind the louvered section of the Venetian blinds. Those sticky uppy bits, again, it's that area of the car that all of the teams are really, really working on and those rolled over elements just at the trailing edge of the floor as well. And it shows us that despite a new rule book being introduced for 2022 and aerodynamic test restrictions, budget restrictions, the development war in Formula One is still well and truly ablaze.